All right, now we're doing 7Q number of people in the bus. This is by Aryan Ferozian, and 90% of the people like it. We've got a bus moving through the city, and it takes and drops off people at each bus stop. Uh, we're, pro we're provided with an array of integer pairs. Uh, elements of each pair represent a number of people getting on the bus. That's the first, uh, the first index, index 0, and then the number of people getting off, off the bus, which is index 1. All right. Our task is to return the number of people still on the bus after the last bus stop, because just in case some people are still sleeping on the bus. All right, we're going to take a look at the test cases. Uh, we need to keep in mind that the test cases ensure that the number of people in the bus is always greater than zero. Is, pardon me, greater than or equal to zero, and uh, the so the return integer will never be negative. All right, the second value in the first integer array is zero since the bus is empty in the first bus stop. Gotcha. All right, so with this one, we're going to do a for loop uh, iterating through and uh, adding and subtracting all these. All right. And to do that, we're going to start off with this uh, initial value. Pardon me. Yeah, initial value. We're going to say let result equals zero. All right. And we're going to say four. Uh, and then we're going to let index equals zero and while index is less than bus stops I'm gonna just take this bus stops dot length we're gonna say index plus plus all right and now we're going to say result plus equals and then we're gonna say bus stops at index at element, excuse me, at index zero, at this index zero, inner index zero, we could say two, whatever, minus, and then we're gonna take this, copy it, paste it, put a space there, and put index one, all right? And that should take care of business right after we say return result. Let's see what happens. Great, let's attempt it. Looks good, seven milliseconds. Let's see if we can beat that with a one-liner, because that's not a lot of typing, but that's a lot of typing, all right? So first things first, var number function, that's cool. We can just change this to not existing. Take out these parentheses. Turn all this into an arrow. And I don't like var as much as I like const, so I'm going to do that. So for this one, we're going to be using the reduce method. And the reduce method executes a user-supplied reducer callback function on each element of the array in order, passing in the return value from the calculation on the preceding element. The final result of running the reducer across all elements of the array is a single value, right? And the first time that the callback is run, there is no return value from the of the previous calculation, if supplied, an initial value may be used in its place. And we're going to be using that initial value like we did on the last run, uh, and I'll show you how. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say bus stops dot reduce, all right? And the, oh, oh yes, I remember this is a very fun one too. Uh, let me show you the syntax. Uh, so we're going to be using reduce, and then we're going to have the previous value here, current value here, and we're also going to do comma initial value after it. I guess we're just going to use this one right here, no big deal. Uh, and so we're going to say here prev, and then instead of the current value, we're going to do some destructuring assignment. And the, dis the destructuring assignment syntax is a JavaScript expression that makes it possible to unpack values from arrays or properties from objects into distinct variables. So basically, as you can see here, they're just declaring A and B inside of an array, and then it's going to equal whatever's in the array, right? So there we go, blah, blah, blah. So right here, instead of cur, as we usually do, we're going to say uh, on, off, right? So the people are getting on, and the people are getting off. Now let's do the little arrow. And we're going to need the pre. We're going to need the uh, initial value. So I'm just going to drop it right there. Uh, and what we're going to say is prev plus on minus off. All right. 
And so it's going to say the previous value is 0, and then the first one's plus prev, which is 0, plus 10, minus 0, okay? And then the next stop is plus 3, so 13 minus 5, which is going to be, what, 8? Hopefully, unless I uh, don't know what it really is. And then we're going to say 8 plus 5, 13 again, uh, minus 8, so it's going to be 5, right? I hope, yeah, there we go, boom. Let's see if I'm if I'm telling you the truth. I was. And it's eight milliseconds. So it's not even faster. So we're going back. Back, back, back. To right here where it was faster. Alright? Test it one more time, make sure I'm right. Alright, good. Attempt it. Great. Submit it. It's eight on that one. Whoa, no big deal. Uh very much like this my solutions uh, just the three of us best practice in my opinion and we'll see you next time